How's it going, ladies and bruises? I'm Bobby Sixkiller. Welcome back to the Outer Worlds. We're heading back out into the great wilderness of Raptodons, mainly. Oh, and Manta Queens now as well, so that's cool. I quite like the Manta Queens, actually. Now that we've got these new weapons, I feel, I feel like a badass anyway. Like, we're in invincible until we run out of ammo and then, then we die. But these guns, these guns are nuts. Flamethrower's still good. This thing's kind of shit now, but... Uh, we're doing the mission for... Oh, crap. We're doing the mission for Nyoka over here. Gonna find and bury her comrades, which is cool. Should be fun. It's very far, and we have a lot to do out here. But I really wish you could like select multiple missions so that um, all the missions show up at the same time. That would be fantastic, so that I could track all the missions at once. You know, I've been here, but I did not loot this place. I'm kind of a uh, Kind of a bit, uh, lazy when it comes to looting everything, must admit, which is probably why I'm always low on ammo. Because I am a bit lazy when it comes to looting. Can't wait for a Mark II sniper rifle, man. Oh, hello. That was terrifying. Nice try, dipshit. Yeah, we good, we good, we good, we got this. Is that- I'm pretty sure that was a Mark II flamethrower. Which, just the idea of that flamethrower being Mark II is absolutely insane to me. Is that what that was? Was it a Mark II flamethrower or am I like imagining things? Can I break this down? I don't want the shit. I don't want the shovel either, or this. Light machine gun Mark II, I already have one of those, but I could give one to one of them, I suppose. Oh, it's just a regular flamethrower. 480 DPS. Well, that, I was going to say, a Mark II flamethrower would be unreal. Well, let's go. Got some decent ammo out of that, at least. Let's have a look at our map. This place is... Okay, it is on this side of the water, so... Well, war not necessarily water, but this side of the river. Mega caned! Yeah, that's a little bit intimidating. Wow, your melee is strong. See him melee that canid to death? That was awesome. Alright, let's go. Crap. Place is so hard to get around. It really is. Why is it designed like this? God damn it. <laughs> yeah, I really didn't think we were gonna get to take two um two allies with us at a time. I thought one of them would be I thought if we added her to the team, uh Pavati would be sent back to the ship, but no. Nope. Can I go through here? What is this place? Oh, it's sealed. Chastity's hideaway. Jeez, I don't know how to get around there then. I guess this is the quickest way. From Full Book Crossroad. Well, let's head over there. Teleport. Why was I doing it the long way anyway? I could have just frickin' teleported. Like a smart person. Fallbrook's on the other side of the bridge there if you need a drink. I don't need a drink, thank We're you. Only halfway to I'm not an alcoholic like you. Might consider stopping in. You're the alcoholic around here. You'll have to deal until we find, until we end up in civilization somehow. Look northwest. That ain't it. But marauders sometimes camp inside the building. Yeah, I see. 
steer clear unless you fancy getting shot. We've been there, so we just need to we need to stick to the road. Can you stop talking, lady? I guess she does know the, the the lay of the land a bit better than I do. Maybe I should listen to her. Nah. Hey, fuckers! Let's crack a lacking. Right, not bad. Give me all your ammo. Any of these buildings are uh, accessible? No. Don't look like it. Anything up here? Nope. It's just a little point in the way, I guess. Oh, that's a Manta Queen thing. I call this rotting river on account of all the dead things I've seen in the past few years. It'll take you to the Devil's Peak Caverns if you follow it under the bridge. <laughs> Boom! Off comes the head. If you're up for some fun, let's chat. Damn, that is some good XP we're getting out there. We should level pretty quickly like that. That's the last of them. Someone's on fire. The caves back east are safest. We can head up this path. Okay, sorry about that. We um we had a power cut that uh <laughs> That's why there was a cut there. We had a power cut. A scheduled power cut that I knew all about but totally forgot about. Anyway. Oop. So, yeah. gotta get back into it. Let's get back into it. I believe we started murdering these things and then the power got cut. So, let's try and murder these things again. That's a marauder. Where the hell did the marauder come from? Okay, okay, we're good. Let's go to Hayes' grave now, finally! God damn. Stupid power cuts. Anyway, <laughs> these things happen, I suppose. They were like cleaning the bird's nests or something out of the power well, station or something along those lines. Which is weird. I guess that's something you gotta do. Dude, that thing just cuts him down. Calm down, it's fine. I mean, it's probably not. It probably hurts like a bitch, but, uh, you'll be right. Very near the surface of Hayes' grave is a small lockbox. Its hinges rusted through and its wood almost completely rotted. It nearly falls apart in your hands. But in it, you manage to find a tarnished silver medallion bearing the letters... Karen. As in, like, the boatman. Hayes was the best self-sacrificing son of a saint I ever met. Halcyon is worse off without him. Now, if we're gonna lure the Manta Queen out, we'll need to find Rebecca and Anders. They took a UDL contract on Terra 2, and we never heard from them again. I think it's time I call in a favor with Hiram. If anyone can track them down, it's him. Hold on, tell me about the UDL contract. I don't know much about it. It paid well, so they took it. They said they'd be back in a couple of weeks, and that maybe we could all use the money to get off Monarch. That was a long time ago. You didn't try and find them? I should have. I... I really should have. But soon after they left, Hayes and the others died. And to be honest, after him, I... I stopped trying. Because it hurt like hell to do so. For what it's worth, I'm glad you're trying to confront it. Thanks. I'm still not convinced I won't come to regret it, but we've started down this path. Might as well see it through. Maybe it'll stop me screaming at night. God, I hope so, if you're going to be on. in the ship. Let's make tracks before Hiram dies of old age. Okay, well, I assume that's back in, in town, right? It is not. So if we walk this way back to the path, and then follow the path, we should be good. To get to where he was. I'll try to fast travel more often, I'm just uh, used to avoiding fast travel. 
because I do like to explore. But I know it take, makes everything take a shitload longer. Try to try to reach a, a, a middle ground there. All right, we are back. I mean, you follow the path that way. Wait, where was the path that way? Up here? Yeah, up here. Love this mountain. You can see so much from here. So many beasts would need killing. So many drinks would need drinking. How can you see drinks from here? Oh, okay. it's getting through, I assure you. Alright, not too bad. Ammo's getting a little bit on the low side though, must have been. We got marauders up here, do we, or...? They've just murdered all the marauders. Why is there always so many Manta Queens? Hmm? Oh, balls. Are we good? That got a bit intense, but I think we're good. Who's been killing the raptodons? The mantisaurs and the raptodons are fighting it out, are they? Told you we'd make it in one piece. Stationing two. Oh no. How the hell did marauders navigate the cavern? I always wanted to go through a high gain wireless. Who are you? This station's under the protection of the corporate compliance crew. You a marauder? Cause me and my sunshine, that's my gun if you were wondering, <laughs> we don't take kindly to marauders. What marauders? Is that a trick question? <laughs> Never mind. Marauders ain't smart enough to be asking those. That's good, I guess, as I wasn't looking forward to double tapping you. You're clear, but I would caution you against pressing on ahead. This station's plumb crawling with marauders, you know. That's how I like my stations. What are you doing here, hunting marauders? I take it you ain't met the other C3s. Me and Sunshine are doing exactly what we've been tasked with. You want more details? You ought to talk to my crew. They're guarding a small barracks to the southeast, okay. by the edge of the mountain. What are you waiting for? Help me kill these marauders. There is nothing I'd enjoy more, but the C3s play it by the book. Usually. <laughs> Usually. Go petition the boss man. Maybe you can convince him to alter my duties. I don't need your help. I got this. Where do I find the other C3s? See that path that runs underneath that giant archway? Follow it on down. There's a little station near the cliff. You'll find the rest of my crew there. I don't need help. We got this. You guys got this? Alright, we good, we good. Oh, it's the boss, man. No problemo. Get in there, fellas. I got snipers. Where are you going? Go! 
Alright, we good. Keep moving. Keep moving. Pavati, what are you doing? Stop running around like an idiot. There. Got him. <laughs> Alright, can we go in there? That went well. All in all. Oh my god, there is a lot of dudes in here. Uh, I might switch up for the... We'll try out this new shotgun. You may not realize this being as you're an outsider, but the blaring alarms indicate the station's on lockdown. Which means you can't ever get mm. evil. Okay. We'll see about that. Here's the Out of my way. I ain't gonna budge while this place is on lockdown. Let's just keep moving forward. Look for another way up. <laughs> Alright, this is going pretty well. <laughs> well, at least get a sneak hit on our first hit, you know? Whoever you are, yes, yes, I can see you. Oh, okay. In a second. God, so pushy. Intercom? This one. I can't tell if you're brave or simply touched in the head. Both. What in the galaxy are you doing sniffing around my station? Unless you are, in fact, trying to suicide by Marauder? And you, Nioka, what are you doing lugging a stranger into my station? You could use the socialization, you son of a bitch. Also, he hired me. <laughs> to what purpose? I happen to have some significant problems I am dealing with right now. Marauders, running out of purpleberry wine three days ago, not being able to bloody broadcast. I need to see the information broker about. No, no, no. We'll deal with information related business later. As I said, there are bigger problems threatening my life and livelihood at this very moment. The Marauders want me dead. And since my hired hands have clearly turned to idle, it appears I need you to clear out the threat. As my newest contractor, you may call me the broker. I'm the contractor, am I? Or we can call you Hiram. On account of that's your damn name, and <laughs> definitely on the account of the broker being a dumbass alternative. What? Everyone calls me that. Aside from you. Okay, broker. See, Nioka? I barricaded the broadcast center, but I can only hold out for so long. Clear the marauders out, and I'll pay you double the going rate. They destroy the transmission equipment, and I'll be out of business. The elevator and doors to the second floor are back online. Hurry before I have to lock them down again. What's in it for me? Aside from the bits I'll be paying you. <laughs> you said you wanted something from me. Something information related. I'll give it to you. In person. Once I'm safe. We got this. No. Lots of ammo. Good. Lots of ammo. We're probably going to need it though. Considering the amount of uh, marauders out there, most likely. Where are they? The next floor up. How do I get in here? Like that. Dude, there are so many supplies here. The new environmental control terminal is now installed and running. Upstairs. Congratulations. You messaged corporate about it. You get to manage it. Consider this your official notice to hide its access keycard deep in the bottom of a drawer somewhere. Preferably within the archives or in one of the station's other popular sections. Because the eye sure as hell will not allow our station's efficiency scores to plummet due to a pointless safety feature. Don't even think about testing the system out. The emergency sirens will make your ears bleed. And if you accidentally trigger the fire suppression system, it could suck the air out of the room faster than the station's last performance review. Harsh. What do we got? Lots of stuff. Oh, Jesus. Hey, elevators to your right. Get ready. 
Okay, I'm ready. You did. Let's go. <laughs> you guys ready? It's gonna be a good time up here. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Come in, I dare you. I got you, I got you. Are we good? All right. Get a bunch of ammo out of this. Get a bunch of money out of this. All right, we good. Very nice. Oh yeah. Hack that. All right, what do we got here? Hack it. Environmental controls. Deploy fire suppression system in main hall. Well, that's going to suffocate them, I think. <laughs> Maybe we'll level up while they all suffocate to death. Put that one up to 80. I'll put more points into Persuade. Would you like to Persuade? That's the last of them, I think. Cool. Well, that's the easy way to deal with them, I guess. At least it didn't cost ammo. Real cheap on the ammo, suffocating everybody. Um, not that way. Where are we going? Up there, I guess. Ah, uh, here we go, here we go. Wow, that really did not spare anyone, did it? Ah, Marauder free at last. I'll get the door. Do hurry on in. Okay. Hey. Never thought I'd be ecstatic at having the walls painted in blood, but seeing as it's not mine, I'd say this calls for a celebration. My compliments on your improvised utilization of the fire suppressant system. I would expect nothing less from one of Neoka's associates. Thank you. As usual. I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> of course. This ought to square our debt. Ooh, nice. One hefty payment for a highly valued service rendered. But I admit, I do wonder why Nioka has brought you to me. Allow me to pose my question in another manner. Why, in the nebula, are you here? I told you I'm looking for a certain information broker. Ah, yes. Our little chat on the intercom. You're looking for the premier broker for all of Monarch, which you knew was me, clearly. Phineas must have sent you. He's the only one insane enough to send someone to Monarch to rush me. I knew it was only a matter of time before he came a-knocking. Look, <laughs> I might be late, but I fulfill my contracts always. Oh, you do, do you? I have lost track of the number of beers you owe me for chasing raptodons off your stoop. Are you fibbing? Be honest. I take offense to that. <laughs> Look, okay. Just, it might take me a while this time. Why is that? I am awaiting but a single incoming transmission containing the information we desire. But MSI and the Iconoclasts are clogging the airwaves from Stellar Bay and Amber Heights. In their war against each other, they're scrambling each other's outgoing transmissions. Luckily, however, the Iconoclasts have now gone silent. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Maybe. If you did, then you would have had my impressed gratitude. Still, we need to get MSI off the airwaves. I will leave the means to that particular end under your discretion. Fair enough. So we kick them off. Exactly what I was thinking. They hurt us all with their pettiness. 
which of course has inadvertently affected the incoming port and my livelihood. Can't we cut them off from inside the station? No, they're jamming the limited frequencies we have at our disposal. Nothing extra planetary can get in or out until the frequency pollution thins out. The safest bet is to convince Sanjar and MSI to stop transmitting on their end. I'll talk some scenes to them. You do that, I'll be here waiting on the receiving end. Luck be with you. I have a feeling you'll be needing a pinch of it, plus a vat of patience. Nyoka needs a favor. Oh, great. I love doing pro bono work for friends. Everybody does. Aw, you called us friends. I'd normally entertain your self-aggrandizing delusions, but this time it's important. Important to you is not the same as important to me. That's true. Although I do recognize that you may have earned some goodwill during your months laboring for me. She's your friend and she needs help. You're the only one who can help. Tug on my heartstrings, why don't you? Look, I'll do what I can, all right? Rebecca Hodges and Anders Wattsworth. They took a UDL contract back when Monarch went to ship, and I need to find them. I believe them to be on Terra too. If UDL hired two hunters back then, it would have been for creature clearing purposes round one of their spacer's choice outposts. These are the coordinates for the outpost under the last UDL contract. Now scram. And, uh, good luck. Mioka, pick me up some stimmy lotion and a bottle of purple berry wine when you're next in Stellar Bay. The outpost. Well, that's uh, completely somewhere else, right? So we're going elsewhere for Edgewater. All right, well, we'll leave that until later. We need to do the flowers for Sebastian thing. That's in town. Uh, what else is there? Oh, we need to go to Fallbrook as well. And Radio Free Monarch. Oh, my God. Let's uh go to Fallbrook first, then. Can we just teleport from here? No, we have to go outside. That's fine. Well, this is certainly a town, I think. Yeah, it's a town. Great. Anything you want, they've got it. So long as you've got the bits. It's a sublight town, but you know. Uh huh. You blind, fella? Or can you not see I'm busy? Why is it every sissy pig fucker who strolls into my town <laughs> expects me to smile and shout awful friendly? Welcome to Fallbrook. That's what everyone else does. Only nugget of paradise in this entire law forsaken land. Like a void damn advert. Catherine, you're as welcoming as ever. Truthfully spoken, I do aim to properly represent my aforementioned nugget of paradise. If I nugget of paradise you mean piece of manty dung, then sure. You know, I ain't heard that one before. Suppose I'll have to work harder to show you just what makes our town shine. But first, I'll need to know what brings you, stranger. Well, I'm half listening. <laughs> half listening. Actually, I'm the fixer for your sub -like problem. Good of you to finally haul your ass over here. I wired for backup weeks ago. Got something that's gonna require special extraction from Cascadia. Right, the anti alter vitae stuff that Lydia Lilia mentioned. So you got a brain on them shoulders. Excellent. Makes my life a world easier. Good to for extract you. the gas, you'll need to siphon it from the lab in Cascadia into one of your ship's fuel tanks. Totally safe. Define safe. Meaning safe for me and my crew. Seeing as it ain't us undertaking the risk. Yeah, thanks for that. All right. I do like your gumption, but let's not be hasty. But that's what I do best. <laughs> to get to the gas, you'll need to navigate through the town, which is overrun by marauders. 
Okay. The lab itself has become an infested nest, crawling with mantis. You gotta fight through or figure out some other way to exterminate them. Maybe the ventilation system? No problem. New York has handled mantises before. And will again. We ought to be taking any opportunity we get to bury those critters in lead. Okay. Direct and aggressive. I always did like your sensibilities. You know when to strike and when to wait. Shame what came of your crew. Crews are for ships. They were a family. Close enough. Now, after you clear the manti nest and reach the storage room, all that's left is to get the gas flowing into the fuel system. The task will require someone with technical skills. Or you could force it through with a plasma overload. Don't recommend that option, though, unless you want to get dead. Good thing we have an engineer. Pavadi will handle it. Load vapors into a liquid propellant tank? I think I know how to do that. N no, I can do that. I think. <laughs> yes. Mostly? Definitely. Dandy. Did I mention <laughs> the gas is of an extremely volatile nature? No. Handle it with the utmost of care. Once you've got our goods, take them to the groundbreaker. Lilia's fencers ought to handle the rest of it. I've marked the coordinates for you to the lab in Cascadia. Use the passcode antediluvian on the terminal to get in. But before you make your run, I could use a heavy helping hand regarding a local issue. For a fine fee, of course. Might be interested. Good. This particular matter of opportunity has been eating at me for a while now. There's a Borst factory on up the way, run by a man who calls himself the King. Clive Lundberg, insufferable prick. <laughs> that aside, it's a business ripe for the plucking. I want it. Clear as that. Get the feeling this is going to involve murder and mayhem. Stars, I hope so. Clive Lundberg, the self-proclaimed Borst King of Monarch, is swimming in profit and drowning in his ego. He's making the only meal to be had this side of Monarch, and I'm tired of ponying up for my dinner. I want that forest factory, owner dead or alive. And you're the soon-to-be handsomely paid son of a bitch who's gonna get it for me. I like the sound of it. <laughs> Easy as eating a sisty pig pie. Guess you've got it figured out then. Good. Hit him where it hurts. In his gut or his production lines ought to make do. So I wanted to sabotage the factory. Then I'd say you might care to poison the sisty pigs, doctor a few financial records, or throw a wrench in the canning machinery. <laughs> Sounds good. It'll be more than good when you're finished. Maybe not for Clive, but for me and you, I'm sure. I'm sure. Oh, and if you don't fancy going in guns blazing or crawling through a sewer pipe, see Duncan in the dry goods and sundry building. He ought to have an employee ID in that stash of illicit goods he keeps for select clientele. May luck be with you, since I won't be. <laughs> I like it. She's a dickhead. Alright, um, so what, what are our missions now? So where's that on the map exactly? Regent? Over there, holy crap, that's miles away. Oh, that's the next thing on our list, I guess. Or uh, where's this other one? Slaughterhouse Clive. Where's that on the map? It's kind of on the way, so we'll do that on the way, I guess. But we'll need to do that next time because we're out of time for today. So until then, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for taking it out with me, and I'll see you in the next one.